then. So DaVinci Resolve 19 has the coolest feature, and uh, I have a party I have to attend, and I want to be a little bit on the entertainment side, so I thought I'm gonna make some karaoke MP3s, and what's more fun than karaoke? So DaVinci 19, go make some karaoke. It's easy, let's jump in. Before we start, I wanted to remind you, I'm in public beta Studio 19, so you have to be on one of the Studio 19 versions to do this. But it's pretty simple to get, uh, especially if you have the regular version. And um, I use this song because it's a heavily processed song, which makes the vocals harder to come out, and I want to make sure it worked. Also, it's copyright free, so I don't have to worry about YouTube striking me again. Line up your MP3, get it on your timeline. There are two ways to do this. You can do it timeline or you can do it Fairlight. Both of them are very simple. But on timeline, there's a trick. Uh, actually, on Fairlight, there's a trick too. This is my MP3 file. I've dragged it in. You have to click on audio. You have to click over here in the blank area. And that brings up audio and track level audios. In here, you'll have music remixer. And all you have to do, hit play. Just mute the voice. You can mute the drums. Yes, you can take out the bass. You can take out the other. And it leaves, there's no guitar in this. Stay because you you... Yourself and myself. That's really it. That's the easiest way. But if you mute everything and you want to practice, which is also good if you are a musician. From the shit inside of my chest because you do you hear that? That's really good for something this processed. You can tell they have a vocoder, they've got double, triple, quadrupled lyrics. I don't know what their vocal chain is, but it's crazy amount. But anyway, you can mute all of these. Or if you want help, like say you're singing. You can literally just drop the voice back so that you can hear it, but if you're on a microphone, nobody else hears it. And say you are a musician and you're wanting to practice something, you can drop back others so you can hear them, but emphasize, say, the bass. I don't want to stretch this out too long, but that's the basic gist of it. There's a music remixer. It is fantastic. It is, uh, to me, on par with the one from our Logic Pro X on a Macintosh. And considering this is a video editor, I'm impressed. But that's the first way to do it. Just remember, you have to click over here in audio to get these. You can isolate voice. That's great for doing vocal. We have a couple of videos on that. Dialogue leveler, that one's in the works. It's pretty good, but not the best, to be honest. Not yet. Anyway, it's it's close. Same for separator. And uh, Ducker, which Ducker's got some issues too. But these this is beta. But Music Remixer is fantastic. The second way to do this, though, go over to Fairlight. Now, on a normal Fairlight, you will not see these. You have to click the three buttons here, go down to Visible Track Effects, and you want to put what you want. So in my case, I took off Music Remixer. I'm going to put it back on. Music Remixer is here. I'm on track one. Bring up Music Remix on track one. Enable. Bring it up. And I get some dials here, but that's it. You just play. One trick I love about DaVinci and why I'm such a DaVinci head, if you move something and you're not sure what the default was, you just double click on it and it goes right back to zero. That's awesome. Like I love that. But in here, you can just dial. You can either mute or dial. I like these controls better. I'm just so impressed. And in this case, I'm, I'm even more impressed because those vocals are more instrumental than vocal. 
But it cracks me up, they can just pull it out and make it louder if you need it. Or you can dial it back, whichever way you want to go. But for making karaoke, this works actually, and I was shocked, but it does work on Prince songs. If you ever wanted to make karaoke Prince, which I'm not saying you should make karaoke Prince, but you know, anyone wants to sing along with Prince, who doesn't? And when you get what you need, just go over to the export tab, and there's actually an audio only preset, it will export as a wave, but it's very easy if you're just doing an mp3 to select mp3, 320 kilobytes, that's normal, uh, add to render queue and render all, and you will be done. Now if you do have a video with it, of course, use your video outputs, you know how that goes, 264, just make sure your video is, is set up. Um, but other than that, yay. And don't forget to like and subscribe.